Hello everyone, welcome to week two of cooking camp. Today we'll be, we will be making fruit salad and fruit popsicles. We will also be learning about knife skills and knife safety. Wait, before we get started, we have our review questions. Hey guys, it's Miss Livermore or Tara and Miss Harrington or Katie. And our friend here, Layla, who's also my daughter, will also be helping us out because we're going to be asking Katie some questions today to see if she is paying attention to kids cooking camp. What are the five steps to hand washing? Turn on the water, put some soap on your hands, wash your hands or scrub your hands for at least 20 seconds, and rinse your hands off, dry your hands and turn off the water. Did she get it right, Layla? She got it right. Woo! All right, the next question is, what are the five food safety rules? Wash your fruits and vegetables when you buy them, or keep your uncooked meat away from your food until it's cooked, to refrigerate your leftovers. Within two hours, wash your surfaces, wash your countertops and stuff before you cook and cut on stuff. Yes. <laughs> no, no, the last one. Get it. <laughs> You use it to shred cheese or vegetables. A peeler is used to peel potatoes, cucumbers, and other things. Can opener is to open cans. A colander is a thing that separates water or liquid from other foods. A spatula is to move things around. Teaspoons and tablespoons are to measure little things. A measuring cup is used to measure bigger amounts. A saucepan is a pot to boil water in. A wooden spoon is to mix foods. A cutting board is a safe place to cut food. A whisk is to mix special things to let air in. A mixing bowl is a bowl that you can mix stuff in. Demonstrating different uh, ways to slice and chop with the knives today. I'm going to kind of uh, show you a few things, uh, proper ways to handle and hold knives. So you see lots of people trying to cut like this. This is actually very dangerous. You want to make sure when you're using a knife, you pinch up here and you're, you're holding your handle there. What that does is keeps your blade from twisting from side to side. So there's lots of different ways and different parts of a knife actually. You know, this part of the knife, this part of the knife, and this part of the knife all really have different functions. The front, you have slicing. Here's kind of like your, your regular chopping kind of thing. And back here's for like your heavy stuff like carrots and parsnips, stuff like that, things you guys love. We got a yellow onion here, and we're gonna. I'm gonna show you how to cut it up in a safe manner, uh, so you can find different kinds of uh, sizes of dice. So I like to take the top off right here, and always being careful. Uh, onions are round, so they want to move around. So just be real slow and real deliberate. And we'll take the root end off. All right move this off to the side. So now I've got a flat platform to work on right here, right? So it's a lot more stable. I like to take it in half one more time. So I always keep my fingers back, my, my fingertips, um, and then I will slice down and I don't let that part fall. Slicing in and then pulling back so our onion doesn't fall apart. Real slow. And then what we're going to do is slowly cut down.
And you're gonna have little stragglers pop off, that's okay. You can always go back. And then, and then it's gonna get kind of tricky, but I like to lay the onion over at this point, so I, it's a lot more stable to work on. Having a nice sharp knife is also very useful. A lot, a lot more safe as well. And that is dicing your onions. Alright guys, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make a fruit salad uh, that you can turn into a popsicle later once you uh, get done snacking on it. Chloe's picking some grapes here. All this fruit has been washed. So in our fruit salad we've got grapes, we're going to have strawberries, pineapple, kiwi, mango, a little peach, maybe some melon, some blueberries. So we've got some blueberries here. Go ahead and yeah, there we go. We've got some strawberries here. What I like to do is just take the top off, not using too much or losing too much of, of the flesh. Yeah. And then we'll cut it into quarters. Half and half. Notice I'm keeping my fingers well away from it. We got quarters. All right. Thank you for joining us at Kids Cooking.